What's going on people? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the best video editing app for iOS devices. Now, I have actually previously done another video talking about the best video editing app for Android or iOS. That is a little bit different to this today. We're just going to be focusing directly on iOS, but I will link that one down below or I'm sure it'll be on the recommended part of this video or whatever. But pretty much uh, the objective of today's video is to try figure out which video editor uh, is as similar to the experience that you would have just sitting behind a regular computer and actually just getting on with an edit. Of course, most of the apps that are on iOS devices um, for video editing are pretty simplistic. They're just super basic, not much to it. Maybe you can uh, just do a cut in the middle of your clip or you can just uh, uh, choose from a variety of different templates and things like that that they offer you which are all pre-made and kind of just already programmed into the app. Most of them don't have um, even near uh, as much freedom as of course the regular editor on the computer would. But today, these are in my opinion the top two iOS devices, uh, iOS apps rather, on the iOS device that uh, really do come close to the video editing experience you would have on a normal computer. Um, and then at the end I've also just got a bonus one uh, which I'll talk about after these few. But to just jump straight into the video, the first iOS app that I believe does a very good job of the video editing itself and the overall um, uh, user experience with giving you a lot of freedom to make your videos and stuff like that, not limiting you, is iMovie. iMovie is really, really easy to learn. Um, of course, it's not free. I believe it comes in at around $7.99 um, or something like that, maybe $10 or something like that. Not too much and it's worth it if you really don't have access to a video editor on the computer because at the end of the day, the computer video editors are coming in at hundreds of pounds or hundreds of dollars anyway, so it's really not much when you compare it, but it's extremely easy to learn. Um, the interface, like I said, very, very easy to get used to even if you haven't video edited before. Uh, then it, None of these are gonna be really hard to actually learn at the end of the day, Just you just have to put a little bit of time in, mess around with them and see where you get. Um, also, you have the ability on iMovie uh, to share straight to social. So, for example, if you're editing a YouTube video and you finish the edit, you can just share it straight to YouTube and it will upload directly there. Likewise, with any other social media you may be trying to make this content for. Um, next up on the list, it can also transfer very easy to Mac. So, say you're editing a great project on your iMovie app on your iPad or your, uh, your iPhone or whatever, and uh, you just kind of want to do a couple final touches on your computer. Uh, you can easily transfer that file to your uh, to your Mac computer and continue the edit on there, uh, which is very very cool having that kind of cross platform uh, compatibility with the projects. Um, also, in iMovie there is a vast variety of different templates. So if you are trying to go down the route of like template editing or you really not too skilled yet with the edits, then there is a huge variety of different templates for you to mess around with and overall. Uh, just used to your advantage at the end of the day. All they can do is help you, but you know, if you, if you are a little bit more of an advanced editor, you may not want to go uh, and mess with those templates. But overall, that is the general um, few points in the favor of iMovie. Of course, um, anybody who's used iMovie just on their Mac knows it's a very, very good software still. Even though it's a free video editor, it's still a very good one. And likewise with the, uh, with the iOS app. But either way, moving on, the next uh, and I guess final but not really final thing on my list is Pinnacle Studio. Pinnacle Studio comes in with a regular and a pro version. I forget, I, I honestly completely forget the money difference between these. The regular version might even be free, I genuinely forget. But either way, Pinnacle Studio has a regular and a pro version. The things that actually differ from the pro version is I believe the pro version supports a variety of different frame rates that the regular version doesn't, and also it supports 4K. So yeah, that's actually huge um, with a, uh, a, a iOS uh, video editing app being able to support 4K. You know, there's computer uh, video editors that can't actually support 4K, which is absolutely dope. The Pinnacle Studio can actually hit that. Also, it has the ability to export to cloud platforms such as Dropbox, uh, iCloud, anything like that, which is very, very cool. So you could export either your final project or, um, you know, I mean the final video file once rendered and saved to your, uh, to, to your iOS device to one of those um, cloud sharing sites so you could download it later on your computer. Also, it has a frame-by-frame -frame editing, right? So it's very, very close 
to the experience you would actually have on a computer where you can literally edit frame by frame, bit by bit, and really have a lot of control over this. Uh, control that not actually many iOS apps for video editing even give you in the first place. So very, very cool. Um, next up would probably be uh, just the point to mention that it is hands down, I think Pinnacle Studio is the most advanced iOS editor. I believe so, even more advanced than iMovie. Like I just said, it, it can support 4K, it can uh, export to, to cloud sharing sites, it has frame by frame editing, and um, I believe it's as close to a desktop edit as you can really even get. And in fact, even just to show you how, how it goes a, a step even further, you can even share your iOS um, project file on Pinnacle Studio to your Windows computer where you can have the Pinnacle Studio video editor uh, downloaded on your computer as well. And that is an extreme big, uh, big difference to even iMovie because yes, iMovie can transfer from the app, uh, from your iOS app to the um, Mac device, which is still all Apple. This is even bigger in my opinion because you could share from Pinnacle Studio to your Pinnacle Studio on your Windows computer, which is huge, two different platforms entirely. So that's very cool how they made that work. But overall, those are the two kind of big chiefs in terms of the, uh, the online um, or the iOS video editing app kind of uh, genre and kind of area, but there is one more iOS app that, um, it actually works for Android as well, but you know, this is an iOS video, we'll just call it an iOS app. Um, I actually made a whole another video on this on this app a few months ago when I actually hadn't really done too much research into Pinnacle Studio or iMovie. Now I realize those are actually much better, which is funny because I branded the last video like the best, uh, the best video editing app or something like that, when in actuality it's not, but it does deserve a mention here, and that is Kind Master. Purely for the fact that it is super easy, 100% super easy, has loads of transitions and effects actually built in, which is really cool. Um, I would suggest Kind Master to anyone who's very new to editing because uh, th this kind of follows the trend of just being super easy with loads of pre-made stuff essentially. So it can be very fun to mess around with. Like I said, huge variety of transitions, effects, loads of pre-made filters and stuff like that that you can put on. Um, there's even loads of little stickers and graphics which you can put over your image. Um, very, 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 very cool. And it does have frame by frame editing as well, where you can literally just go through frame by frame and uh, adjust everything. And you do have a lot of freedom in this last one as well. But overall, these are uh, two main video editors I would suggest to take out iMovie and uh, I would suggest to check out, what did I say, S suggest to take out? I don't know, I confused myself. Check out iMovie, check out Pinnacle Studio, check out Con Master if those don't do it for you. Thank you guys for watching the video. I've been Jack, have a nice day and goodbye.